Hello friends and happy first day of school. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and I'm currently a fourth year PhD candidate studying history at Ohio State University, the Ohio State University, if you will. And if you've been around for a while, you may notice that I have some new surroundings. I have been in Australia for almost two months. I just got back last week and I have now settled in to my new apartment. I got married at the beginning of the summer in June before I went to Australia and I have now moved about an hour away from campus. So I am now a commuter for the first time in my life, which is pretty wild. I used to live a 10 minute walk from campus and this morning I went to school and was out the door on the road down the freeway before I usually would even wake up for the last three years of my life. So I'm not an early bird, so it's gonna be quite the transition. But I wanted to start a little vlog to tell you guys all about the start of my year. I am getting started on my new job. I am now one of the managing editors for our school's online journal, and I'm very excited about my position and the different things that I will be working on. So I'm getting some work done for that. We have our first meeting tomorrow. And I also decided to take on another part-time grading position for my advisor for a class that this will be my fifth time grading for it. And it's a class I honestly really love um, and would love to make a class like that when I am at that stage. And I also now have a coworker, Maggie. Maggie. I have a new friend who's gonna be with me. This is uh, my husband's dog, who's now our dog. And I still have Ranger who's with my parents, but he is very, very old and could not sustain a cross country move. So our house is still getting set up and the office is still getting set up, but I'm loving how it is coming together so far. So let me give you a little tour. So we have the desk. I finally have my diplomas hung up for the first time. We have this second screen that can go up and down, though I find that it doesn't really do a great middle position. And then we have a walking pad, which I also have not set up yet. Hi, Maggie. And I'm very excited to set this up and start using it. I still need to figure out a system to put my keyboard higher whenever I use the walking pad. But yeah, and then we have my bookshelf, still cleaning, and we have a whole new section. These are all of the books that I got in Australia. They did add close to 20 pounds of weight, I think. And I'm not even exaggerating because these are huge books. And my bag was 40. My bag when I went over was close to 40 pounds maybe. And when I left, it was like 60 pounds. So between the books and all of the souvenirs that I bought, which I'm usually not a souvenir person, but Australia did something to me. So these are all my new books. And yeah, very excited to get started with the new school year. Okay, I got some work done. Did some editing for a new friend slash colleague who I met who's working on her dissertation in Australia who's French, so she wanted me to edit and like check for English grammar and stuff. So I did that for a little bit. And now I am on my evening walk with Andrew and Maggie, getting my steps in. I walked so much in Australia and my new goal is to walk <laughs> My new goal is to continue walking at least three miles every day. I need to finish setting up my walking pad because that will help immensely. But for now, the weather is absolutely stunning, beautiful. I'm loving having summer weather again after being in Australian winter for two months. And we're getting these last delicious licks of summer here in Ohio. <laughs> Lick. Okay, it is a new day. It is now our second day of the semester. And let me tell you, I did wake up about 20 minutes before I had a meeting. Thank goodness this meeting was home online from Zoom, but I am still very much recovering from the jet lag. So I decided to take um, like a sleep aid last night, but when I do that, it makes me wanna sleep for like 10 hours. So tonight we're gonna try just reading before bed and maybe a nice cup of tea. But I had a meeting and now I have some work things that I need to do. I am on the hunt for a writer for a piece that we are considering. So that is my first step. I have this giant whiteboard that I've been working on that lays out everything I have to do for the entire semester. 
for each of my assignments, which is going to be really helpful. And it's not super overwhelming because I can clearly see by month everything I have going on and I know that it'll all be okay, or at least I think it will be. So I'm trying to look down at this sheet to see what else I need to do. Um, oh, I have my first day of class with my advisor, which is this evening. So I will be commuting again to school. This class is from 5.30 to 8.15 p.m. I think three of the classes are gonna be online this semester, which it's not a ton, it's not a ton, but at least it's a few. So all the other days I will have to go onto campus. So I think I'm probably gonna leave at like 2.30. That way I can have time to just be in the office for a little bit. I wanna set up some things there since probably Wednesday afternoons I will be in the office. But that is what I am up to right now. I've got Maggie with me. And yes, we're working on a bed, but I have my little study buddy with me. And we are going to try and knock out a little bit more work before I transition into reading for my class for this evening. Okay, so I finished my reading for this afternoon's like just an introductory class, which is also kind of silly because the class is going to be super short, but I have to drive two plus hours round trip to get there which is kind of fun. Um, and then I finally finished editing the paper that I'm looking over for my colleague and her dissertation. And now, um, hopefully this rocking is not giving anyone motion sickness. I am just waiting for Andrew to pop home for lunch. We will probably just eat something out here. We have a little porch, which is so nice. And honestly, this is what I've been missing the last three years at my other place because I just like to be outdoors and especially when it's nice weather since I hate the winter so much. So I am going to soak up every second I can working outside and just being outside before the weather starts to turn here in Ohio in probably still a few more months until cold-ish weather comes. But yeah, after lunch, I will probably just head up to campus and do some work from there. I might pop into the library and try and get some books. Like I said, set up my office. But yeah, excited to eat some lunch and hopefully wake myself up a little bit. I'm feeling so tired today. I might need to get some coffee. Okay, I'm running slightly behind the schedule I would have liked. Still doing way fine on time to get to class though. Um, but I just finished packing up my bag. I had to change clothes because I got a stain on my shirt. I don't know where it came from. Um, I'm gonna take Maggie out to go to the bathroom and then I am gonna stop at Starbucks on the way and use a gift card because I do not think I'm gonna survive two hours of driving today unless I have a little bit of caffeine. So I've got my water, gonna go get some sort of caffeinated beverage and then drive to Columbus. Good morning. Class was good. I really was not on campus for very long because it was just an introductory class. As you saw, I went to the library and I got so many books. I honestly just kind of went crazy on the shelf picking ones that I thought would be useful and important. I'm starting to write my first chapter this semester and I feel like I'm kind of panicking about it just a little bit. Like I know I have good ideas and I know I have a general layout for the chapter, like an outline in my head, but we have a ton of assignments for this writing seminar I'm doing all bunched right together. So I feel like I just wanna have all the books that I might need on hand just in case, especially since I'm going to campus way less this year. And also if I wanna to go to campus, it is an hour drive, not just a 10 minute walk. So this morning I've been feeling so sleepy. I once again did not sleep super well. Every morning I kind of wake up with a headache and not feeling super great, which reminds me I should be taking my allergy pills, but I'm just here with Miss Maggie. As you will notice, the office is already changing. So we have this set up already, but we also moved our bed into here, or the mattress at least, because we are getting a new bed today. 
for the main bedroom and then we'll have this as like a guest room but it already does make the room feel a little better now that there's not just like an empty hole in here with stuff it also means that i have to stay home all day because i'm waiting for the delivery which is supposed to be in the afternoon but they were like well sometimes they can come early and you like have to be there when they give you the call so i'm trying to figure out what exactly i want to start my day with i have a bunch of different things i could do i think i'm gonna keep working on this video that i'm editing for my job at school i'm doing kind of the first pass of listening to the audio and making cuts in the audio and that seems like it doesn't take i mean it takes brain power but i can do it while i'm tired so i think i'm gonna start with that and then i'm gonna read a book called best we forget which talks all about the kind of like initial push for white australia this is set in the time period and context of world war one so i'm really curious to read it because i think it's going to be really important for my research on australia a lot of what i'm talking about in this time period for australia is how the government and different conservative and right leaning groups we're pushing this idea that women needed to have children because children or babies rather were quote the best immigrants which was a phrase used constantly around this time in Australia and how that policy interacted or how these ideologies interacted in a period of war. So probably going to read that book after I've had a little more time to wake up and take some notes and hopefully it will be very helpful as well for my first chapter. Okay, don't mind me, I'm literally still in my pajamas, but I'm so excited because I have to use Premiere Pro for the videos that I'm making now for my new job at work. And I was excited about it because I've always wanted to use something other than like iMovie, but I just haven't had the time to do so and I just taught myself a new trick in Premiere Pro while I'm editing the audio file and I just got so excited and I'm really pumped to like have an have a reason to learn this system and to become proficient at it. I will say though so as you guys know like a few months ago I had gotten a new like mouse that works this way to hopefully help my wrist pain but my wrist is like having a giant flare right now so I think I'm pretty much done with the initial pass of the audio that I want to do now so I'm going to take a little break and do some reading to provide a little bit of relief for my wrist and do that for a few hours and then break for lunch but I'm just so excited basically what I learned how to do is I learned how to shift all of the audio clips a certain way um which is something just like so stinking small but I'm very proud of myself hurriedly hurried hurriedly that's a word putting on my shoes because Andrew got home and then we were doing some little home improvement projects which I will show off later and then I put contacts in for the first time today does anyone else have issues with their contacts where like they take a long time to adjust I think it's because I have an astigmatism but they take so long to adjust and my eyes are very blurry right now and we're going to dinner and a baseball game and I'm hoping that my eyes adjust at some point. I usually bring like a backup pair of glasses but I don't really feel like taking them out so I feel like I might just suffer through if they never adjust but we're just putting Maggie in the crate and then heading out the door. It's been a pretty productive Thursday all things considered and I'm excited to have a fun little date night.
Friday, the end of the week. I woke up with another headache, so like I don't know what's going on with that. I'm trying to drink lots of water, but it has not really been helping from these morning headaches. So I started the morning off pretty easy. I'm just reading, continuing to read the book, um, Best We Forget, about uh, white Australia during World War One. And today I have a mix of school things and then errands that I need to run. Andrew and I are finally going to go, well, I mean, not finally for him because he was living in Texas, but he is going to get Ohio license and driver's license and license plates. And I also need to do that. So we're going to go to the DMV or the BMV. It's called different things up here. I'm not really sure. And then I need to go grocery shopping because we haven't been since I've been back and it's been well over a week now. So lots of things to get. And then I will continue reading. I want to get a little more done of a book I started yesterday, but I don't think I introduced called Love and Death in the Great War. This is for the class I'm taking with my advisor. It is about the US during World War I, which I just find amusing because I don't read a lot of history. US history like at all it's not really like my jam if you will but this book is like right up the alley of my research and everything else that I research so I read the first chapter yesterday and I'm excited to continue reading that today so really just focusing on book reading today and then a little bit of personal life administrative things to do okay we officially made it to Saturday yesterday the DMV situation ended up taking absolutely way too long. We like had to figure out how to get some documents that we didn't have and it was a whole situation. I was able to get my license. Andrew was not so we're gonna have to go back and then we needed both cars there to switch over the car titles and we only had his car so I have to go back for that and then we have to go to a different place for the title registration after we get an inspection from the DMV or the BMV. So very time consuming. And then we did a huge grocery haul, literally like over $200. But I feel like that's how it goes when you just move somewhere. You need a lot of just kind of like general stuff that you don't have to buy that frequently in addition to groceries. So that was nice. And then we went and hung out with some new friends to watch the first two episodes of Ahsoka, which is this new Star Wars TV show on Disney+. Plus. And I'm like a very, uh, what's the right word? I'm like a more casual Star Wars fan. Like I actually love Star Wars. I've seen a lot of the things, certainly not all, but like seen all the movies, seen some of the TV shows, but I definitely don't know like all the nitty gritty. So this new show, like I was lost for a good portion of it, but it was still very fun. And today very much slept in. I am going to do some schoolwork even though it's a Saturday because it's the beginning of the semester and I have so much going on. But I'm reading this book for fun on my Kindle called Happy Place, I think, by Emily something. It's really good. And so I think I'm going to go sit outside for a little bit and read that and get some water because I once again am waking up with a sore throat. I'm going to take an allergy pill. I don't know what's up with that. It's only like in the morning for the first few hours of the day. And then it clears up and then the next morning it starts all over. But Anyways, that is my Saturday update. <laughs> okay, we are going to end off my first week here. It was a bit chaotic. I'm getting back into the hang of vlogging, back into the hang of the semester, in a new apartment, and in, in a new city with a, I mean, Maggie is not new, but new living um, situation. But I think overall it was a good first week. I think I'll get used to the commuting and there's a lot going on this semester, but I am excited to share it all with you guys and show you what life is like kind of post candidacy, which I was still post candidacy last year, but in a lot of ways, like I wasn't really writing any dissertation chapters yet. And I was really spending a lot of time reading literature for a whole half of my project that I didn't have a good background or historiography in. So now I feel like fourth year, it's the time to really get going and charge ahead. But that is it for my first week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if there's anything you wanna watch in particular coming up for the school year, please let me know down below and I will see you guys next week. Bye.